Hello and welcome back to the Valor Knight. Today we're going to be playing Conflict at the Carrick. While searching for Gollum in the Anduin Valley, you receive word that a group of trolls have come to the Carrick. Add the Carrick to the staging area, remove four unique troll cards and four copies of the sacked card from the encounter deck and set them aside out of play, then shuffle one sacked card per player back into the encounter deck. Uh, the sacked card says, attached to a hero with no sacked cards attached, controlled by the first player. Counts as a condition, attachment. Attached to your camp, attack to thin, commit to a quest, trigger its effect, or collect resources. Alright, let's shuffle that in real good. Here's the Carrick, it's immune to player cards effects, so they can't travel to the Carrick except by quest effects. While it's in the active location, troll enemies get plus one attack, plus one defense. Alright, as this area is under the watch of the Bay Warnings, you seek out their leader, Grim Bayorn the Old, and discover he's already set out in a rage. You follow, hoping to find him before he confronts the trolls. After playing, seeing the seventh progress on token on Grim Bayorn's quest, the Carrick becomes the active location. Discard the previous active location from play. Alright. Uh, so, our troll enemies are Stuart. When he's engaged, all trolls get plus one. Uh, Lewis, while he's engaged, every time he attacks, all troll enemies get every time they attack, you raise your threat by three. Rupert, he shuffles sacked cards back into the encounter deck. And Morris, he gets plus one to all troll attacks, and they're all two, four, two, ten enemies. So, if I'm going to face this, I probably need an army. Um, but I have decided not to bring an army, I've decided to bring one man. Done here. <laughs> so I'm using the one ring, uh, which lets me use a master card. We're using strength and courage, which gives me plus one attack. I can exhaust the ring and raise my threat by one to double my printed attack, which for done here, because he gets plus one attack when he attacks into staging, means doubled it's four, plus the strength and courage is five, plus attacking a staging area is six. So here's the plan for this deck. The plan is, have done here, swing up into staging a billion times, until he hacks down all the trolls when they are in the staging area. Now, this is the third attempt at this quest that I'm playing. The first one, I misread Strider, uh, which, while I control five or fewer characters, I get plus two. I played the whole quest as if I got plus two the whole time, uh, which is not how the card works, and so that messed me up. And then in my most recent playthrough, I made it to the very end. We had one troll left, and, or two, one of them was really damaged. We had one other troll left. And I got sacked, and then just to show, there's a card in here. Um, yes, roasted a lot, roasted slowly. Destroy all heroes with the card sacked attached. And you shuffle this back into the deck. What that means is, is that Dunhir got destroyed and we lost the game. So hopefully that doesn't happen. So in that quest, I use side quests a lot uh, to slow roll the beginning, which is how you're supposed to handle most of them. But I'm not going to do that this turn. Well, my threat is low, I'm going to try to quest up enough to get the trolls into the staging area as quickly as possible and kill them while they're there. I didn't like getting two biffers there, so I didn't think that was a very good starting hand. I really need resourcefulness, and I get it. All right, we're going to Daron's Runes for two cards. All right, we don't need two Amphilas Herdsmen. I'm going to spend one dollar on resourcefulness. And we're going to save double back. So we're going to quest for three with done here. So one, two, three against two. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, well this one's over already. I can't collect resources. I can't do anything uh, because I've been sacked. So it's just a matter of time until I either thread out or draw the slowly roasted. But instead of completely starting over the video, we are just going to restart the game. Uh, so that is a loss. So that's my third loss on this quest, or second real loss on it. Um, so we're starting our opening hand. I don't like that. It's too expensive. Does that want a real good shovel? No point in you doing those first three minutes of the video completely over for that. Ah, uh, no resourcefulness, no nothing really. I could send for eight, I suppose, but I'm not going to. We're just going to quest for three. So three to two, maybe this time we won't get sacked. Get three to four, pop my threat, threat up by one. We're going to exhaust the Great Wanderer, dump my threat by one, give myself two more resources, and then go into the next round. All right. Ah, oh, perfect. Here comes resourcefulness. 
Oh, and I'm going to go ahead and travel here. I'm going to do that in the last phase. We'll travel there. Get that out of staging. All right, this guy only costs one, so we'll put him in. So now I'm up to two, so i got to watch that. And we'll spend the other two on the swordsman. All right. There's only one, and when he enters, we look at the top card of the encounter deck, and it's the, if it's a location, we discard it. It's not. It's the Missing Mountain Goblins, which are no problem. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We get seven because he boosts himself. So seven against four is three, just enough to clear that location. All right, and Dunn here is going to swing up into staging. When he does, he gets plus one. So one, two, three, plus one from that is four. Say goodbye to the Misty Mountain Goblins. All right, here we go. Next round. Uh, we'll go ahead and dare on his runes. And why not another Traveler? The card is another Misty Mountain Goblins. All right, that's fine with me. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And yes, I'm trying to speed this time. So nine to four is five. Combat phase. Swing for four. Goodbye. Now here's the challenge. I could speed rush this, get sacked, and not have enough allies to take care of any of the trolls, which is always danger. But I think it's a danger I'm going to risk on this attempt, and if it fails me, I will not do it again. But just in case, I do need a few more allies, so we're going to send for aid. We should be able to clear it this turn. Because putting another Anflas herd, or Ether Swordsman in. These are the herdsmen. Alright, so one, two, three. Oh, nope, not one, two, three. I now have five characters, so it's just back down to normal. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven to two. We get the Browns lands, 11 to 7. So that's a chance so we only make four progress on the sin for aid. We'll travel there, and when we do, it gets rid of it. All right. We will keep uh, this going. Arwen's a great card, so we'll add Arwen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 against 2. And we get the muck adder, so 13 against 3 is 10. And that is enough. Alright, we are going to search the top 10 cards for an ally. Could Gandalf. Northern Tracker could be nice. Elfhelm. I think we're going to go, since Elfhelm and the Northern Tracker are pretty much the same, and there's a lot of locations, we're going to Northern Tracker. All right, muck adders for four. I swing up in the staging area for four. Say goodbye. Could really use another resourcefulness. Didn't get it. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen against two becomes thirteen against three, which means you make ten progress, which is enough to clear. You approach the Carrick and find that the trolls have been watching you from the top of the Rocky River landmark. Trolls call men, place the unique troll cards set aside, set aside in the staging area into play. Or place the unique troll cards that were previously set aside into the staging area. And we can't defeat this stage if there are any troll enemies. And that includes the two hill trolls that are also in this deck. Or in this encounter set. And so here they all come. We have to travel here. Or actually the character becomes the active location. And while the character is the active location, all of them are attacking for five and defending for three. All right. Now it's time to start doing what I can do. All right. Use the one ring of my threat attack for six. And we're going to start shipping away. Got solid five or six turns to try to kill a few of them. Ooh, and we're one turn away from Glorfindel. So, all right, here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Against 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oof, Grim Bay Orm. Perfect. He doesn't exhaust to commit to the. Uh, he doesn't exhaust to defend against troll enemies. He has eight or more resources on him. He joins first player as an ally. 
We have to spend a leadership resource, which I don't have. I have to play him. This is where Hurlwind might have been a better choice. But anyways, 14 against 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's 5 progress. So close. So close. And I put a progress. Did I use the Northern Tracker? No. I, oh, yeah, I did. Okay, so I do put a progress. There we go. Alright, up my threat, attack for six. One, two, three. Alright, refresh everybody. Okay, Gandalf's come in. But we're gonna spend five for Glorfindel. Press for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So we add three. I could have just done that in my head. And I get sacked. Ugh. Oh, good night. Come on. <laughs> okay, this is doable though. This one's less bad. <coughs> uh, so next turn, because I should be able to kill Rupert. I will be able to kill Rupert. Yeah. So we should be okay. Uh, but that is terrible. Terrible, terrible. Going to the next round, can't play. Does it say I can't play cards? It cannot attack, defend, commit to a quest, trigger its effect, or collect resources. It doesn't say I can't play cards, and we got sneak attack. So sneak attack Gandalf. When Gandalf comes in, we're going to deal 4 damage, and after defeating him, we can discard a sacked card. So goodbye, sacked card. And we've still got 37 cards to go through before that would get shuffled back in. So thank you, Gandalf. At the end of the planning phase, he comes back. Ugh, that was scary there. <laughs> All right, questing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. The card we draw is, ooh, that's a great card. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 to 17 is 6, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Carrot goes away, so now they're just down to their base attack and defense. We have to unfortunately travel here. And I will not send the Northern Tracker anymore because I don't want uh, that to go away. Because that's the only way we can get Bay on. Alright. Up my threat. Attack for 6. 6 minus 2 is 4. We're going to attack Lewis next so he doesn't raise our threat a ton. And we're moving on. Am I going to beat Conflict of the Carrick and 20 minutes? Maybe. <laughs> Ooh, double back would be fine to quest through. So let's go double back. Drop our thread a little bit if we clear it. <clears throat> and then we're going to quest for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And the card we get is, ooh, not super good. Uh, the River Langford gets plus one for each troll enemy in the staging area. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we only make two progress uh, this time around, which is not super great. All right, uh, exhaust the one ring up, attack for six. Four, and we are close now to killing Lewis. So we will go into the next round. And I'm kind of blitzing through this because I really don't want to play it again. <laughs> I've played Conflict of the Carrick now like three times today. Technically four if we count that little loss I took at the beginning. Alright. Uh, you know what? We're going to sneak attack Gandalf. We're going to get rid of... Oops. I don't know why it's so slow all of a sudden. Get rid of Lewis. Uh, that's going to drop the amount of threat in the staging area, which will help me out a little bit. And Gandalf will come back into my hand at the end of the planning phase. One, two, three, four. Uh, wait, did I count that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yep, so sixteen. Card we draw is uh, Hill Troll. Great. Alright. So it gets plus one for each troll enemy, and that's another troll enemy. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. We need one more. One more. 
We're going to travel here first, actually. What is my threat at? Oh, 25. We're okay. One ring. I'm going to try to kill one more of these guys before I take on the hill troll. That might not be entirely smart, but it's what I'm going to do. Alright, so we're moving up. We're moving on. I'm going to save for... Oh, actually, spin three for Galadrian's greeting. Drop my threat. Six. And go on the quest. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen. Sixteen again. Card we draw. Oof. Goblin sniper. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, so that means seven progress. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Double back goes up, and we reduce our threat by five. Okay, so we are back into secrecy. So no chance uh, that we get attacked this time around. What I'm going to do first is we're going to one ring. Attack for six. Six minus two is four. And then we are going to exhaust this. Ready, two resources. Attack for four. Get rid of that archer. And really, this should be systematic from here on out. That's timely aid. Okay, got another ether swordsman. That's great. Ooh, actually, you know, just in case something were to happen where they all have to take a damage, let's get an Anflas swordsman instead. Requesting for plenty. Alright, speaking of, it's the same 16. Ah, bee pastures. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 to 16 is 8. That's 8 progress. Um, what's my money looking like? Let's travel here. We're going to get Grimbayorn on our team. First, we're going to exhaust the one ring uh, and attack for six, which will kill him. And then we're going to exhaust a great wanderer, give myself two extra resources, ready myself, attack for, what is attack for? One, two, three, four, to just put a single damage on our hill troll. This really did that for the resources. All right, we move into the next round. So, so while this is the active location, resource tokens from any sphere may be spent as uh, leadership resource tokens. So we're going to spend eight, and when I spend eight, that's all that I need to pay for Grim Bayorn, Great Ally, two, four, three, ten, ally. <laughs> Uh, and he doesn't exhaust a defend against trolls, so we're going to be bringing some trolls. Because we are so close to finishing this game. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is all we're going to send. So one, so five, six, seven against one, two, three, four. And the card is each player raises threat by the total threat of the cards in the staging area. So that would be by four. All right, glad I did what I did. Uh, that's still three progress, so one, two, three, and might as well travel. Uh, no, it's going to get discarded by Northern Tracker next turn. All right, so which troll do I want to engage this turn? I'm thinking we take on the hill troll. So he's going to attack. Uh, he's going to defend. We're going to use Arwen's ability to give him plus one, so he's defending for four. No shadow. He takes two damage. And then attacking back, we can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten minus three is seven. Oh, sorry. And one, two. So, ten. And with that one turn, we have slayed the hill troll. Perfect. Maybe we won't get another one. Refresh, go into the next round. All right. 
This is looking good. We've got one more troll to kill, and if we can kill him, we win. <laughs> so we're going to send one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the quest. Seven against three. Oh, make that seven against two. And we get another bee pasture. Perfect. Seven against three. So this is it. This is the last turn. We're going to optionally engage him. Hopefully last turn. Probably not, though. Because he gets plus one attack. So he's attacking for five. Going to defend for four. Shadow card is nothing. So one damage. And now it's time to swing back for one, two. Sorry, one, two, three. Oh, wait. Let's go ahead and exhaust the one ring. Double it. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Which is enough to kill Morris. And in 20 minutes, we have breezed through the conflict of the Karak after a failure in the beginning. So the failure took three minutes, so really that was only 15 minutes uh, to beat Conflict of the Carrick. I know that was like a speed run, um, but I don't have time to play this again, and I really wanted to get this video out today. Uh, so that was a quest that you can imagine could be very frustrating with more players, and using the Grey Wanderer deck is really broken. Really, the Grey Wanderer deck just breaks the game, makes everything way too easy, uh, depending on the quest. And this one in particular, it made things easy enough. So hopefully I didn't break any rules this time with the Strider or something. Uh, and this would be the quest that goes up. So thank you for watching. Next time we will journey to Roscabel uh, in the next quest. Journey to Roscabel, we're almost halfway through the Shadows of Mirkwood cycle. Getting close. Alright, thank you. See you next time.